everyone, it's Miss Karen from A Time for Kids. Welcome back to another one of our online story times. Today we are talking all about Mother's Day. Hooray for Mother's Day! All right, boys and girls, so in the month of May, we have a really special holiday that we celebrate, and it's called Mother's Day. So if we take a look at the calendar right back here, this year, which is the year 2021, we have the month of May, and on a special Sunday, which is over here, May 9th, we are going to celebrate all the special women in our lives. So that could be your mom, your grandma, your aunt, or a sister, or a teacher, or a neighbor, or somebody who helps to uh, nurture you, and guide you, and loves you, and is really either a mother or a mother figure for you. All right, you guys, so what we do at a time for kids is preschool readiness. So what we're going to do is work in all of our skills that help to get us ready for school, but with a focus on Mother's Day. And at the end, we are going to make a really cool Mother's Day picture frame. So hopefully you guys had an opportunity to get down to the Hop Hog Library to pick up your picture frame. Okay, it will look something like this, and it will also come with lots of different puzzle pieces. And what we are going to do is to create a special um, picture frame that you could give to somebody special for Mother's Day. All right, but we're going to get to that later. First, let's get warmed up and get ready to move our bodies and work our brains. So here we go, everybody. Let's wave those hands to say hello. It's always a great way to start a story time. Now we're going to take those hands. Can you stretch them way up high? Wave those hands high in the air like this. Then we're going to take those hands. Let's bring them way down low. We are going to wave those hands down low. And can you guys wave your hands fast this time? Wave them so fast. You've got it. And now let's wave them really slow. All right, you guys, we just did some opposites. We waved high and then low and we waved fast and then slow. So those are our opposites. All right, you guys, let's get ready. We're gonna do a warm up song before our hello song. We are going to sing, if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. So if you're feeling happy about celebrating Mother's Day, we are going to clap our hands, stomp our feet, slap our knees, wag our ears, and then shout, hooray. So everybody, let's get up on our feet and let's get ready to sing. Here we go. Clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Can you clap your hands? If you're happy and you know it, if you're happy and you know it, then you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. All right, you guys, this time we're getting those feet moving. Stomp those feet into the floor. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. All right, you guys, this time let's take those hands, find your knees. We're going to slap our knees. If you're happy and you know it, slap your knees. If you're happy and you know it, slap your knees. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, slap your knees. All right, this time we get a little bit silly, guys. Can you find your ears? We're gonna okay, wag our ears. ears. If you're happy and you, and you know, know it, wag, wag your ears. ears. If you're happy and, and you know it, wag, wag your ears. ears. If you're happy and you know it, and you really wanna show it. If you're happy and you know it, wag your ears. All right, this is my favorite part. We're gonna shout hooray. So throw those hands in the air. Shout hooray, hooray. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray! And hooray for Mother's Day! All right, you guys, while we're moving around, we're just going to continue with the music portion of this program, and we're going to do our hello song. So, boys and girls, let's take those hands, we're going to wave them from side to side, and we are singing hello. And then we're gonna practice waving with different body parts. So let's start by going side to side, and then I'll show you some other really cool waves that we can say hello. Here we hello, go. hello, hello, and how are you? I'm fine, I'm fine, and I hope that you 
are two. And let's just keep singing those same me. words. Hello, 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 and how are you? I'm fine, I'm fine, and I hope that you are too. So when someone says, how are okay, you, you can I'm say that, I'm fine, part. right? You sing the I'm fine part. So let's try that back and forth. Here we go. I'll sing hello. Hello, 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 and how are you? Your turn. I am fine. And then you say, and I hope that you are too. That was good. Okay, good job. Time, you sing All right, hello this time you guys wave and to me fine. and say hello, and then I'll answer hello. on the phone. Thank you for asking. I'm fine. I'm fine. And I hope that you are too. If you want to tell right, somebody now, what we want to do is hands. practice what waving you? without different body parts. You so let's shake, take those hands. Wave. Let's wave stretch first. them all the way up on this side of the room. Why and you let's wave move them to the from point. side Hello. to side Hello. over our heads. Hello. Kind of like we're drawing a rainbow Everybody in the sky. Here, you wave back over there. And then I'm let's fine. bring them down low. I'm fine. And then swing and those arms out you and about. Too. Got it. Okay, shall we try that? Who's going to wave first? All right. This time, you guys, let's okay. do some up down. Hello. One hand can go Hello. up while the other hand Hello. goes down. How are you? I'm fine. I'm fine. You are too. This time, instead of waving right. with your this hand, this time we're gonna wave with just our little pinkies. So what we want to do is just what pop kind of out that would you one little finger. If you were with your see if you can bend it all by Let's itself. Try. Hello, 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 and how are you? I'm fine, I'm fine, and I hope that you are too. Okay, here comes a spelling one. How about this one? We find our elbow elbows. Is. Can you wave with your elbow? These are our elbows. Yeah. And if we wave <laughs> with our right. elbows, okay. you it would look something like this. Wave back. Let's try it. Hello, 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 and how are you? I'm fine, I'm fine, and I hope that you are too. Okay, let's see. Can you, right. oh, how, how would you wave with your, your head? head? This time we're oh, waving good. with our heads <laughs> like this. Okay, here we go. Hello. Can you wave silly. With your Can you wave with your tongue? <laughs> That's so silly, isn't it? Wave with your at the Let's same sing time. and wave Let's without try. tongues. Hello, 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 and how are you? I'm fine, I'm fine, and I hope that you are too. So silly. Now you know somebody said that before. Oh, well, we could also say you could shake somebody's hand, hand to That's say hi to them. So you you put your hand down hand to hand. somebody next to you, give them a nice firm handshake, hello, and say hello, hello to them. And then let's all take those hands and let's clap. I'm fine, I'm fine, and I hope that you are too. Great job. All right, everybody. Well, now that we said hello and we did some waving, we want to work our whole bodies now with the next song. So we're going to do our train song. All right, you guys, so if you're not on your feet at this point, let's all stand up on our feet, put those feet into the ground like this, get grounded. Then what we want to do is we want to move our arms like the wheels on the train, around and around and around like this. Chugga, 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 just like that. And as soon as the music starts, we're going to create a train track right at our house. So whatever room you're in, it might be your den, your living room, your kitchen, wherever you are, you could even be outside if you're watching this video, we're gonna create a train track by going around in a circle and at different points, I'm gonna tell you to stop the train and we're gonna do some big movements to help work on some coordination. We are working on sequencing, all right? And we are working on those big muscle groups. All right, boys and girls, if you're ready for a train ride, Let's stand on up. Let's get those wheels moving. We're going on a train ride. Here we go. Here's my whistle. All aboard. All right, I've got my wheels moving and let's chug around. There's a train and it rides through the town and the countryside. And where it goes, nobody knows, but it always ends up here. All right, let's 
stop the train and do the conductor. All aboard! So boys and girls, with big arms like this. All aboard! And we're going to do it again to practice. Here we go. All aboard! Just like that. All right, let's go around again. Wheels are moving, feet are moving. And the countryside and where it goes. Nobody knows, but it always ends up. I'm going to stop the train and do a whistle. Ready? Arms in the air. Pull down. Change up the arm. And then go back to the conductor. All aboard. And it always ends up here. Wheels are going. There we go. Each time we go around, we add another step and we put it all together. Hold it up. The people. So this time we're squishing our fingers, working all these little muscles. And pull that whistle. Switch sides. And the conductor. All aboard. And it always ends up here. All right, going around again. Here we go. And it runs through the town and the countryside. And where it goes, nobody knows, but it always ends up here. Hold it up. The engine. Give yourself a little shake. You got it. And the people go. People. Yeah, the people go. And the whistle, whistle. goes. Woo. Oh, the Another whistle. Another whistle. Goes. Show me that, that conductor, conductor like this. All aboard. You got it. All right, let's go around again and learn another step. And it rattles through the town and the countryside. And where it goes, nobody knows, but it always ends up here. Hold it up. The brakes. So this time we're stopping the train. Let me see you push your arms. And shake it up. Yeah, the engine goes. And the squish your go. fingers. Oh, the people go. And the whistle. Goes. Whistle. Woo. Last whistle. Can and you make it loud? Goes. Woo. The and the conductor. Goes. All aboard. And it always ends up here. Last time it's around. Changed. Here we go. And right. Through town and the countryside. And where it goes. All right, give yourselves a round of applause. All right, you guys, that is definitely one way to get moving, get some exercise, working in those big muscles, right? We're remembering them in a certain order, so we're creating a sequence, and we're pulling all of those skills together and having some fun right along with it. All right, you guys, we are now going to get ready to move to our craft portion of the program. So let's get out our materials. And again, this is a video, so you can always stop it at any point, gather up your materials and get them set. Usually when we're doing a craft, we wanna make sure that we have a nice flat surface to work on and we get all our supplies ready. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pull my table over like this, everybody. And I'm going to make sure that I have all my supplies. So what you're gonna need for our Mother's Day craft and if there's any moms in the room that you're making this for, they might wanna leave the room so that you can make this on your own and surprise them with it, or they could help you with it and it's like teamwork, all right? So we wanna get our picture frame ready and we wanna lay it down flat, all right? And then you should also have received a bag full of little puzzle pieces. So what we wanna do is lay out some of those pieces on a flat surface, okay? You might want to turn them over so that you could see what colors are on them because that may depend on how, where you want to put them on your picture frame. You might want to spread out the colors a little bit more. All right, you guys. So once we have all of our supplies in place, we need to get some glue. 
Now for this project, since we're working on a wood picture frame, um, I feel that a bottle of glue works better than a glue stick. It's a little bit thicker. It'll help adhere to the wood a little bit better. But if you have a glue stick, it will work as well. You just need to put a lot more glue on it. All right, you guys. So what I wanna do first is I wanna put some glue onto my picture frame. And you guys can do this any way you want. You might wanna do the whole picture frame um, or you might just wanna work one side at a time so the glue doesn't dry. All right, so the best way to do this, boys and girls, is to squeeze your muscles. All right, again, we always talk about preschool skills. We wanna work our muscles, getting them nice and strong. So I'm just gonna work across the top first. My glue, you could spread your glue out if you want. All right, and then I'm just gonna place some puzzle pieces randomly on the glue. Now you could put them sideways, you could put them diagonal, you could overlap them. This is, the, is your picture frame, so you could really make it any way you want. You could have the pieces sticking off the edge. It really depends. So I'm gonna put some pieces on and I'll show you what that looks like just like this, so they're starting to come together. And then as I go, if I see any spaces, I might wanna overlap them. All right, so I'm trying to vary my colors. I'm trying to vary the direction that I put my pieces, um, but you can do it any way you want. All right, you guys, so just make some fast work out of putting your pieces on here. And the really cool thing about this picture frame is that when we're finished, we are gonna have a little tag that goes on this picture frame and it is going to have a really cute saying, which is gonna say, I love you to pieces, right? Which is a great thing to say to a mom or somebody special for Mother's Day. All right, you guys, so now I'm moving on to my second side. I'm putting my glue on there and I am going to put my pieces down here. I've got some greens and some reds and some really different colors this time. All right, even some pinks and some yellows. All right. And you can put your pieces again any way you would like to do it. All right. So if you notice, puzzle pieces are really cool. They have different shapes, right? So this really helps to give out picture frame a really cool and colorful dimensional, three-dimensional art project. All right, you guys, I'm going to finish putting on the pieces on my bottom, and then I'm gonna work on the last side. All right, so you guys can keep putting your pieces together. And again, you can always stop this video, you can go back to it, depending on how quick you're working. I may be working quicker or slower than you, depending. And so you could always pause the video, fast forward it, whatever you need to do to stay engaged in the program. All right, boys and girls. So again, like I said before, we're in the month of May. The weather is good, right? We are celebrating Mother's Day and we are making this really cool picture frame to show somebody special that they're important to us and that we love them. All right, I'm gonna show you how mine is coming along. Check this out, everybody, it is looking cool. And if you don't like the way you placed a piece, you could just pick it up and replace it. All right, I am coming in over here with some purples and some greens and my hands are getting a little bit messy and that's okay. We can always go wash them up afterwards. All right, I think I want another piece over here. This spot looked a little bit too empty for me. All right, and then what you're gonna do, boys and girls, once all your pieces are on, we wanna let this dry and then what you can do, like I said, everybody has a tag in here love you to pieces. You could attach this to the picture frame and you could even put a really special picture inside of you and the special person that you made your frame for. 
Okay, and again, love you to pieces has two meanings. The first is that you just love them so much that you say, I love you to pieces. But we're doing a play on words and using puzzle pieces to reinforce that message that we love this person to pieces. All right, you guys, so that's the way my picture frame came out. Hopefully yours is coming along just as good. And again, you can then use this picture frame to hang on a wall, or if you see down here, there is this little hole here. You should have a wooden peg. You could put that peg inside and your picture frame will stand up on a table just like that. And hopefully this will make a really special Mother's Day present for somebody who is very special to you. All right, boys and girls, I am going to get ready to put my crafting table aside and read a story about Mother's Day. But if you're still working, feel free to pause the video, finish your craft, or you can listen to the story and then go back and, and um, finish your craft later, or you could do both at the same time. All right, so I'm going to push my table aside and we are gonna read a story about what mommies do best. All right, you guys. So there are so many books out there about what mommies do best, and we know that mommies probably do everything best. But let's take a look at this story and see in this book what they think mommies do best. And here we go. So again, What Mommies Do Best by Laura Numeroff and illustrated by Lynn Munsinger. What Mommies Do Best. Here we go. And if you're snuggling up right now with your mommy, you could give her lots of big hugs. And let's take a look. Here we go, boys and girls. Mommies can teach you how to ride a bicycle. Make a snowman with you. And bake a delicious cake for your birthday. Building a snowman together, baking a cake. Mommies can help you make a garden grow and give you a piggyback ride. Well, that looks like fun. Did your mom ever give you a piggyback ride? And take care of you when you're sick. Mommies can watch the sun set with you. Sew loose buttons on your teddy bear and hold you when you're feeling sad. Mommies can take you trick-or-treating and, and help you give the dog a bath. Like teamwork, they're helping each other. And play with you in the park. Mommies can do all those things. Mommies can read you a bedtime story. Tuck you in and kiss you good night. Look at the mommy tucking in the baby and kissing him good night. But best of all, mommies can give you lots and lots of love. And that's my story called, What Mommies Do Best. And we saw mommies helping out, giving the dog a bath, baking together, going to the park together, cuddling up, taking care of you when you're sick, giving you kisses, right? And doing all those fun everyday things together that make mommy so special. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed our story about what mommies do best. And I hope your picture frame is coming out great and that you have a great day celebrating your mom on Mother's Day. All right, you guys, what we're gonna do now is finish our program with a song. So if you guys have any musical instruments, feel free to go grab them. You might have bells, you might have maracas, egg shakers, Anything really that makes noise can be an instrument. You might even have two spoons in your kitchen. You can go get those, and when you bang them together, they make music too. All right, you guys, so we are going to finish our Mother's Day program off by singing a great song called Skidamarink and I Love You. And saying I love you is certainly a great thing to do 
on Mother's Day. All right, you guys, let's get those musical instruments ready. Let's get ready to sing it out and have some fun. Here we go. All right, I know you guys know the words to Skidamarink, so let's all sing and dance together. Here we go. celebrating Mother's Day. Hooray for Mother's Day. I want to wish everybody out there who celebrates a happy Mother's Day. I hope you have a really special day and I hope you guys enjoyed this program. Again, I'm Miss Karen from A Time for Kids. We will see you next time. Happy Mother's Day. <laughs>